this may just be a me thing, but it's Saturday. You'd think that would be a day to recover and recuperate, <laughs> but you'd be wrong. Oh God, let me know if that's you too down in the comments because I would love to not feel alone on this. Got lots of random things to do, um, but first, deadlifts. You know what? I'll actually take that. I routinely say this to other people, and cerebrally I know it's right, but I often have to repeat it to myself. Not every single lift is gonna be a new PR. You're not gonna feel great every single time you go there. Sometimes you're gonna feel like absolute trash, and you're gonna perform like absolute trash, and that's gonna happen. Uh, not so much that extreme today. I still managed to set a PR for three reps on the deadlift. I don't know if that's because I got stronger or because I actually, you know, had the wherewithal to try. Either way, now I know 525 I can do for three reps. Uh, I was going to say with relative ease, but relative compared to what? I was pleased I got it done with how difficult 555 was. I should have been able to get that quite a bit easier in my mind, but I guess not today. Did complete leg day today, and I think my next chore is to dig holes in the front yard. Great! That's right, it's kind of like cardio. Kind of like additional back work. <laughs> Just what I need. But I do feel like my legs are tingling right now. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Nah, it'll be fine. Self-imposed injuries, am I right? The wonderful part about home ownership that nobody ever tells you about, you can either pay somebody a gazillion dollars to have something relatively simple done, or you can spend an hour and sweat a lot and curse some and do it yourself. What I said. So let's do some stuff. Well, that was significantly less fun than I'd hoped. <sighs> I have no thoughts. I have no words. Well, I, I have one thought. Well, I guess it's more of a feeling. Hunger. Now that I've had the chance to clean myself, <laughs> but I wanted to show you what we did exactly. So first two things were these trees right behind me. In their spot, we used to have this like giant frankly hideous bush looking thing. So we tore that out and dug that in there. I spent significant time with Mr. Hatchet trying to cut up all the giant log-like roots, I guess, that were back there. It was a lot. So that was the overwhelming majority of my time and frustration out here. But let's go to the other side. We did manage some more fun stuff. Like this tree, of course. And then, eh, down there, blueberry bush number one, and over there, blueberry bush number two. Pepper, knock it off. <coughs> Down here we have four hot pepper plants and three tomato plants, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. Only one more thing left to do today, but thank God it's inside, because <laughs> I'm getting wet. The last thing I need to do today is with my office, and I am gonna edit no sound when I'm in here. Maybe you can kinda hear it echoing. 
Now I'm not using my camera's microphone. I'm not using the microphone that goes on top of that camera. I am using my microphone right here that is connected directly to my computer right in front of me. If you can hear it, I can hear it here. But if you can hear it, there's echoes that I don't want. So I have to do something about that. You might be able to tell that I changed my office for the thousandth time in a row. And um, I think this is where my desk is gonna live forever. <laughs> but something has to be done about this sound, right? So a couple things. One, I have 12 of these bad boys. These are just foam pads. They're eh, just shy of a half inch thick. They're gonna go on the ceiling right above me. And then I'm gonna put about a thousand of these things in front of me. These are just foam pads. They're uh, about an inch thick at their thickest. These are gonna go on the two doors that are right in front of me over on this side, the door to the rest of the house and the door to the closet, maybe on each side of the doors too. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do on this wall yet here because you can see there's a corner in front of me and a corner behind me of the room just to kind of give it the proper depth. Oh, and I'm gonna, oh, and I'm gonna not do anything to the sound just because, let's see if there's a difference and maybe you can hear a difference, maybe you can't, uh, I don't know. It'll be more for me if anything, but uh, let's see how this works. All right, how, um, how's it sound? I'm not going to know until I get uh, into the computer after this, but what I've done. So we only put up six of the ones above me. The doors in front of me have uh, 10 panels on each of them, so 10 square feet of sound proofing. There is another six square feet in the left side of that corner right there. This wall here, in kind of in front of me to my right, is empty, but we're probably going to put stuff on there eventually, so we'll see. But I feel like it sounds far deader to me right now. I can kind of feel the echo from behind me. Um, I'm not sure how, but I can. And as I glance into the computer where it's like recording and I can see like the recording, there's like no dead noise in this room, which is kind of awesome. Because there used to be a bunch of stuff just kind of like buzzing around and there's nothing. The office update will come soon enough. <laughs> Actually, uh, I take that back. The office update will not come soon enough because it's been in the works for like almost a year already. Hopefully by the one year mark of being in this house, this is ready to go. It's one step closer. The desk is gonna live here forever. And that's all I can really tell you. Soundproofing is getting there. The lighting is getting a lot better. There's a blue light behind me that's like brand new. There's a key light right here. And if I shut it off, it looks like this, bad. It's coming together. The floor is still bare. It's vinyl plank. I need a rug of some sort, but we'll figure that out later. The walls need stuff on them. I need a plant behind me. So much stuff to do, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next week.